One of the crucial knowledge gaps in our understanding of the universe's history lies in the cosmic dawn, a period spanning about 50 million to 1 billion years after the Big Bang. During this epoch, the first stars, black holes, and galaxies appeared, illuminating the universe after long dark ages. Despite significant advancements, scientists have yet to fully grasp this transformative era. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has added another layer of intricacy to the conundrum, raising the issue of what happened first during the cosmic dawn, the development of galaxies or the emergence of black holes. We know these monster black holes exist at the center of galaxies near our Milky Way, but the big surprise now is that they were present at the beginning of the universe as well and were almost like building blocks or seeds for early galaxies, said Joseph Silk, a professor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at Johns Hopkins University. According to data from the Webb Telescope, black holes played a critical role in the formation of new stars and the growth of galaxies during the first 50 million years of the universe. They really boosted everything, like gigantic amplifiers of star formation, which is a whole turnaround of what we thought possible before. So much so that this could completely shake up our understanding of how galaxies form, the lead author of this new study. The Webb Telescope has discovered early galaxies that are brighter than expected, bursting with a large number of newborn stars and even supermassive black holes. What's perplexing is that black holes typically require a billion of years to attain a significantly large size. Additionally, the traditional theory proposes that black holes form as a result of the collapse of huge stars, and galaxies take shape after the ignition of the first stars in the early dark universe. However, the new research argues that black holes and galaxies coexisted for the first 100 million years. We're arguing that black hole outflows crushed gas clouds, turning them into stars and greatly accelerating the rate of star formation. Otherwise, it's very hard to understand where these bright galaxies came from because they're typically smaller in the early universe. Why on earth should they be making stars so rapidly? Two phases of the early universe. The latest study proposes that the primordial cosmos experienced two phases. High-speed outflows from black holes drove new star formation in the first phase but subsequently slowed in the second. A few hundred million years after the Big Bang, gas clouds compressed owing to intense magnetic storms from supermassive black holes, resulting in an unusually rapid rate of star creation. As these massive outflows transitioned to an energy conservation mode, the star formation process slowed, reducing the accessible gas for galactic star production. JWST observations suggest that active galactic nuclei feedback evolved from a short-lived, high redshift phase in which radiatively cooled turbulence and or momentum-conserving outflows stimulated vigorous early star formation, to late, energy-conserving outflows that depleted halo gas reservoirs and quenched star formation. The transition between these two regimes occurred at Z tilde operator 6, independently of galaxy mass, for simple assumptions about the outflows and star formation process. Observational predictions provide circumstantial evidence for the prevalence of massive black holes at the highest redshifts hitherto observed, and we discuss their origins.